yes? Sweet mother of double jeopardy facts, stroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You'll never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. So, uh, we should be back. Whoops. Ah. You know what? Let's hide this window so at least we only get the desktop. And, uh, hello. How's it going? Um, oh, I'm wondering... Okay, let me just drop this out for a second again. it's audible on stream so that should be fine um, mm -hmm. now let's use the audio in my head a little bit yeah um, not quite sure maybe the microphone is pointing slightly in the wrong direction but nope I guess that doesn't really make a difference also I guess we'll just uh, talk um, so yeah, Sam and Max episode 2, apparently some TV host is giving valuables to her audience, which of course is horrible. <laughs> um, so I guess that's where we can get started. Um, and also, hello, and I hope you had a nice week. Um, for those of you who were there last week, thank you for being there. Um... Especially for the huge crew on um, uh, on uh, Tuesday, um, because uh, after that I got a message that I have the option to get affiliated, so that's why I have channel points on Twitch now, and uh, I have submitted some temporary emotes. Um, that uh, are still in the approval que queue, so we'll see. Um, and yeah, so I don't really have much to do uh, for you with channel points right now, because, you know, this stream is small enough that all the fun things, uh, I kind of don't want to charge people channel points for that. I just want them to be able to do that, like with a bot, like, uh, you know, like playing the sounds. course that doesn't work either okay today uh, I guess we'll just continue and I don't know what it is nope it's not playing anything so I don't know I guess I'll have to spend an afternoon uh, fiddling with that but I think now we can just uh Seems to be yeah, successfully connected. All files seem to be there. Hmm. 
nothing. Okay, let's just play the game and forget about that. Anyway, I usually have commands for like fun sounds and stuff. We don't have them today. Um, and I'll have to look into why none of this is working today. It seems to be a really bugged day. Everything is weird. The window was the wrong size, so I couldn't see the indicator of whether I have dropped, dropped frames. Fixed now. And the game doesn't want to uh, be uh, run in windowed mode and captured that way, so I have to capture it in full screen and uh, run it in full screen and capture it that way. It's fun this morning. Okay, never mind. I think we should be up and running now should have the right title and the right game. Um, so I think we can find out what happens next with Sam and Max in episode 2. Um, so let's see. Um, Mr. Spatula is looking good today. Isn't he plastic? Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! One of these days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Nothing useful in here. How I run it! Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. All right, let's just interact with every object here and see. Sam, it's me. Open the window. I'm trapped in a ledge again. <laughs> Sam, come on. I have to pee. And the PTA is here, and they're carrying signs. I found a way to solve all three of my problems at once. But I'm going to be needing bail. So I guess he dropped down onto someone from the PTA demonstration or what? Uh, protest. Hi Sam, this is your therapist calling. I have to cancel our appointment because I'm giving up the practice to go into publishing. Speaking of which, thanks for all your great material. <laughs> That's not at all dubious. Yeah, I'll just write about my former patients. Sam, it's me. Open okay, the window. That's I'm it. trapped in a ledge again. Hubert doesn't look so hot, Max. He doesn't look any worse than he did two months ago. These donuts must be three months old. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. Welcome back, America, to day three and a half of my most special episode ever. You don't want to miss any of our exciting guests coming up this hour. Plus, everyone in the audience is going to be getting a lifetime supply of non-dairy creamer. Ooh. We don't need non-dairy creamer. We need sleeve. Oh, I see. You were all thrilled when I gave you cars, then all expense paid vacations, and then home entertainment centers, but now, after I worked so hard and sacrificed so much, you'd rather sleep? It's all about you, isn't it? I guess nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Maybe. Maybe we'll start using non-dairy creamer someday. That's more like it. You see? There's lots more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a slouger. Good old TV. It's the only way I still feel well adjusted. Okay, so I guess that was what's going on out there right now. What do you mean? The reception's perfect right now. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. A very disturbed individual sits here.
someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. Hello? Jerk! Hello? Jerk! Couldn't see who that was. Looked, the icon looked like Mr. Potato Face or something. Not head, face. Um, are they poking fun at Oprah? Among other things, probably, yeah. Um, I mean, Oprah did give some quite expensive gifts to some of her audience. Um, so yeah, um, I think it's like a combination of like lots of TV show hosts, but uh, who knows. We shall see what else they parody. Ah, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Check. You can still hear what he says. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Yeah, that's about all the same volume. Okay, so... <laughs> good start to the day. Uh, ducking is broken. Audio is weird. Um, and apparently quieter than before. Um, the game doesn't want to run the way it ran before. Um, I've forgotten something. I didn't get to finish lunch, uh, lunch because I had to figure out how to capture the game. So uh, during the opening when I ducked out of the camera, that was me eating the rest of my lunch. So yeah. Good start. Um, but hey, we're there. Anybody home? Guess not. Apparently not. Oh, no cheese. Brady cultures hair. Ah, oh, Brady cultures hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Aww. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Oh, Ants are just like people, aren't they? Yeah, kind of cute from far away, but really scary when you look at them through a microscope. <laughs> Our Thugs and Hoodlums file cabinet is almost full. Can I help it if I come from a large family? <laughs> Ducking was eaten by a goose. Uh, sure. Well, I have no idea what that sentence is mean, supposed to mean, but I do know what the words mean. The words are. Sam? Oh, now we could go to No the place. Studio. Never mind. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Lefties. That wasn't there in the previous episode. Like, the building was there, but uh, I don't think I could interact with it. Lefty's power tools. This place used to be Lefty's tutoring shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with a number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. All right. Oh wait, what's this? Spin the bottle championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. Do you like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. <laughs> what? I've we should go to Switzerland sometime, Max. Nah, they always jip you on the cheese. It's like half air. <laughs> hey, it's the Indie Angst Film Festival. 
What do they do? Show that second movie over and over again? DRG DLR. Drug dealer. Ah. Except my ducking was broken, yes. I guess you said the goose ate it because goose and duck. Ah, okay, never mind. <laughs> I would give you a but sadly uh, that's broken right now. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, <laughs> if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Good point. Oh, what do we have in our pocket? We still have our gun and they have the tear grass la launcher. Oh, nice. Ah, the tiki. Holdover from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. And the it? A little. Sam and Max had an animated TV show and I don't think, uh, I think, I think it, well, it, Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. Can I play with that? No, it drives people crazy. Mm -hmm. Me. Very convenient if you haven't got a bulletin board. Cactus, yes. Potato. Says something you decide. Ah, something about love, child. A mimeograph. This appears to be some sort of reproductive device. It's a mimeograph. I use it to print my tabloid. I think those might be iron arms. Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. She's got a story here about two hygienists from Walla Walla and an amorphous Saturnian slime mold. Is that the one where they walk into a bar at the beginning? Laundromat. But you're close. It says here that two members of the United States Congress are secretly involved with a silicon-based rock beast from Venus. Which ones? Isn't it obvious? According to this, the Olsen twins are not alone. What? Never. She's got a story here about two hygienists from Walla Walla and an amorphous Saturnian slime mold. Is that the one where they walk into a bar at the beginning? Laundromat. But you're close. All right, we already did I've that. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. Nice sign. Is this the kind with aloe in the sheets for extra softness? Chloroform, actually. Some of my therapy patients used to get a little rowdy. Do we, can we take one? I'm afraid to touch those. Nothing in there. Nothing useful in here. Nothing there either. It's getting late. Hey Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Impressive credentials. Thank you. Where's Diploma Mill College? It's in Battle Creek. I think that's a joke I didn't quite get. I mean, Diploma Mill College already says everything, so I guess it's a mail order diploma or something where you don't have to do much for it. I don't know. Um, I would guess that that was the joke that it was supposed to be. It's really weird. 
and see if I'm louder this way. Yeah, just a little bit. Ouch. In retrospect, I should have probably muted while uh, changing around the microphone like this. But uh, anyway. So this should be a little louder, I hope. So let's see what Sybil has Sam, to tell us. Max, how nice to see you. I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? What? It's my new career. I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. Give me a second. All right, professional streamer here, as you can see, bumps into the microphone and everything. Um, <laughs> I've moved most of the stuff out of the way, I think, so hopefully this will work now. So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers, except maybe Vatican spokesperson. Are you doing any psychotherapy on the side? Only on space aliens. I guess that narrows your clientele quite a bit. No, not really. <laughs> How about a quick analysis, for old time's sake? Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. Three. You're selectively audio averse. I don't like the sound of that. I don't even know what that Selectively audio-averse, I guess that means a bad listener or something. What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it. <laughs> There's nothing like good, hard-nosed journalism. You said it. It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. Like what did those poor cattle do to deserve that? No. What do aliens do for romance? Do they love? How do they get their otherworldly thrills? By playing slots in Kino? That'd explain why they're always seen in Nevada. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. I guess my brain is not quite uh, <laughs> up to the subtleties here yet. Have you learned anything interesting since you started this uh, magazine? I learned why Elvis had such an otherworldly voice. Elvis was not an alien. Sure he was. He just wore makeup to cover his emerald green skin. Frankly, Sybil, this project is disturbing, as well as distressingly intimate. Like seeing Stephen King getting a hot butter massage. Oh, you saw last week's issue. Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Dr. Phil. Well, that goes without saying. <laughs> we'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. All right. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barber shop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to go in. I just wanted to look at the. 
sign. I forgot you cannot look at the sign. Piercings, tattoos, psychi psychotherapy, and no tabloid rag. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. It's always interesting to see, like, what changes and what doesn't. Look, Max, the liver and onions are still in town. Let's go see them again and again! Liver and onions. They even look like liver and onions, I guess. hasn't managed to deliver and that's why it's empty or you know like if it's really sold out then wow um, I guess she has a good job there has been Brady culture behind bars he finally found a way to become famous the police blotter all right that was previous episode it looks like candy but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again I've had worse <laughs> what ho, Samuel Maximilian? What the? You're probably wondering how I know your name. Not really. Psst. It's me, Bosco. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be English. <laughs> no, really. What made you convert to British? It's because everybody's got an in for me, that's why. Yeah, we heard. I had to get a disguise to throw him off the trail. Oh, they'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. What sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? It's the skin bodies, man. They're after me. Skin bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Oh, no. The skin bodies are like skinheads, but ten times worse. Sure they're not a hundred times worse? Yeah, maybe a hundred times. Maybe a million. These skin bodies, what exactly are they doing to you? They're stealing my, I mean, pinching, my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? So they can shave their bodies, of course. Of course. Not to be rude, but why isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well... After the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from b -Ted. Meaning nothing's stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. Dash it all! I knew I forgot something! We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm, uh, quite so, quite so. What is it after this time? What have you got? Well, there is still one kind of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't got yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And <laughs> I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it 
alters the frequency of your voice molecule. Very useful, very useful. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Let's see here. Uh, 30 shillings would be about 1 million American dollars. A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Worth every shilling, trust me, trust me. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid. Spiffy. Tickety-boo. Just bring it to the counter. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? No. Do you have any fine leather jackets? No. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? No. The fine leather jackets are the usual Lucas Arts Indiana Jones reference, I guess. Do you have any plus two plate armor of limitless squeezability? No. Ooh, RPG players. Do you have any Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? No. Do you have any ketchup? No. Uh, oh, wait. Got you. Blast. Drat. Dash it all. <laughs> Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Okay. No. No, it's Nothing looping. For us right now. Indeed. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. What the devil? Surely you jest. Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. Pishaw, piffle, pishpot. Thanks, Bosco. Hip hip, honey nut cherry. I'm I not could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Oh, it's a big dog. Big dog. The skin bodies rule the street. Blast, bugger, blammy, ballot. The little bladder did it again. After him. I mean, uh, tell me. Tally ho, fool. Alright, so I guess can we drive after them? Maybe capture them? Please? Ah. There they are. Where are we going, Sam? Hey! <laughs> the skin body can't be stopped! After those rats. Is it more racing game? There they are! Let's yes. get them! How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin body can't be stopped! Hello? Uh, now I can. Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask. You can't dodge my shots forever. Gotcha! This skin buddy can't be stopped. Give up the shaving cream, skin buddy! The skin buddy don't give it to nobody. <laughs> All right, can we wait? They moved over to a particular side, so that means maybe we can get them to drive into something like that ramp. Oh, that looks promising. Late. Let's 
see. Yeah. We shoot on the right. One. Ah, too late. Missed. Okay, where's the next round? Come on. I like how the buildings just pull up back there. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Where's the next ramp? I need a ramp. Please. Come on. There. Oh. Not enough. Drive into that divider. Oh. Oh, what happens if we drive here? we just drove into it made us flip so let's see ah. is that too late or am I doing it wrong closest this game gets to a Twitch game, I guess. As in, you know, having to... Well, I missed it. <laughs> and having to react in time. Alright, so... What do we have to do? Come on, what's the next ramp? yellow ramp. Can't be too hard to see. Nope. Oh. into that. Didn't help. Can't dodge my shots forever. Watch uh. him! This skin buddy can't be stopped! Missed him. <laughs> this skin buddy can't be stopped! I tried to drive them right into some random item there when the... Ow. Ah! I missed... Oh, I missed the click. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, that was the other one that I missed because I was thinking about wh how I could have missed the click. <laughs> it's nice music. Yeah, they didn't go far enough to the side either. That's true. But I thought that maybe... that you know maybe they just you know pull back stop now or we will take decisive disciplinary action never happen happen let's see if we can maybe do something with the ramp ourselves Where's the next round? Maybe we can 
always drive home, but I want to see what we can do. Try this another time. Hmm. Uh, wait, I guess go to the TV studio and see if we can Where find we going, anything Sam? there. Hey! <laughs> the skin buddy can't be stopped. To the TV studio. TV studio. Goody. Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. WARP. Television so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. This door will be locked and the camera switched on for an impromptu reality show. Oh, in case of fire. <laughs> Charming. I hope that's just a prop. I hope it isn't. It's got a falling star on. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh, yeah. The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook set? Clearly from a work of unparalleled artistic vision and emotional expressiveness. No wonder I haven't seen it. <laughs> Even the scaffold is just a prop. Yeah, from that show about the TV crew that solves crimes around the station using advanced forensics and overly dramatic reenactments? Come on, who ever heard of a crime at a TV station? Hmm. Anything else here? Whoops. Clicked out. Oops. Nope, okay. That's the edge of the. Oh, wait. There's a broom. Need a broom, little buddy? I don't use brooms, Sam. I necessitate the use of them. Hmm. There's only one explanation for a propeller on the wall. Yes. This TV station is a giant flying battleship! <laughs> Either that, or it's just a prop. Huh, get it? I vote for the giant flying battleship. Yeah, that sounds like a more fun solution at least. Okay, so I guess talk to the person now. Possibly risk advancing the plot. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max. Freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could have fooled... Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. 
Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next? Who's next? You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of... Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? You and Myra, why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, knucklehead. <laughs> What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. Alright, so we actually suspect that this is not in my cable. Not in my cable. There's actually two knots in my cable. Um, so yeah. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Typecast. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog. Now, show me rabbit. Um. Grr. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. Hmm. Okay, so now I know what we have to do. Because we'll have to grab the shaving cream for that. Cut! What are you doing? Sorry, I'm not hiring a dog who can't even do a simple rabidity scene. I don't know what went wrong. I was feeling so rabid. You look pretty disease-ridden to me. <laughs> after you've taken a few thousand acting lessons. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Hey! Actors only back there. But we're police. Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, so I guess that's all we can do here. Hey, Matt. What is it, Sam? Uh, Let's boogie, little buddy. Lights, camera, devil barreled action. Alright, so we have to find a way to... Get the... Um... Skin bodies. How do we do that? I like that they just keep driving around here. <laughs> Takes me back to my childhood. Stinky's diner? No, I guess we can't go there. Who goes there? Oh, it's you, Locke. What do 
we have here. Organ Trader, Self-Loathing Weekly, Hot Bunny. Ooh, let me see that. Hot Bunny? No, Self-Loathing Weekly. <laughs> One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. We want to buy something. Quite so. Okay. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. Are those the same two weenies that were in there a month ago? Are you the same two weenies that were in here a month ago? Uh, no, I didn't want to talk with Max. Let's do some shopping. Great! I want to click behind that, that with shelf. With liverwurst. Want some? Absolutely not. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Sludgies. This week's flavors, bangers and mash. <laughs> That's sausages and potatoes to you yanks. Oh good, for a second I thought it was something disgusting. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Nachos. They're mine, nachos! Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush. I'm sold. You toilet brush. I'll pass. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Say Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Oh, watch out, landmines. Chilled and preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Free handcuffs, prune nuts. Keeps you going and going and going. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wait, maybe the tear gas thing can be used? I don't know, it seems too useful to be applicable to that situation, but who knows. Maybe that way they, they will drive more erratically or something, and then we can get them. Oh, wait, there's a dumpster. What can we do with that? I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. Oh, I still one. don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Where are we going, Sam? Hey! <laughs> the skin buddy hit me, Sam! After those rats! There they are! Let's get them! How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch up! The skin buddy hit me, Sam! Get 
drive into something. Okay, it was the middle where we had to get them. I didn't see the the manhole cover there. Or rather the lack of one. Okay, so now let's go to the TV Sam? station because shaving cream, as we all know from that joke. The TV studio. Goody! Will be really useful. Can we again? take another crack at that audition? Fine. Let's take it from the top. Ready, Sam? Show me rabbit. Brilliant. Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the <laughs> little people. Who... Zip it. Okay, Max, you just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad. You're despondent. You're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. Grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh... I know something. We still have the tear gas thing that we used at the start, and he cried from that. <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my hat. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bra Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over! Your heart. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam! We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left! Yay. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboy, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs, and not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of side gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. 
Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained. Globe Theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script and it's really important to work it in because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. Can Thanks. we take five? The Screen Actors Guild will break my knuckles if I say no, so go ahead. I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. All right, what else is here? There's a cactus. Ah, nature. <laughs> In Manhattan, this counts as a view. If there's a leak, it counts as a water view. There's a lasso or something, I guess. Look, Max, there's the door to Myra's set. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, you Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. A stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Cause I do! So, you Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. <laughs> Penny's on the eyes of a dead mime. That, that's a callback to the previous episode where we had to pretend to see um, money in ink blushes. <laughs> Six million three hundred and seventy three thousand four hundred eleven point nine eight. Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? Think of something else. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? Think of something else. <laughs> Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me, do me. Oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it. Wow, you're amazing. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre. No, mo. Uh, Bird sienna. Uh, how about a color I've heard of? Hmm. Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Do blue, Hugh. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? Oh. Do the color trick you again. Change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Green. It's not easy being green. 
Oh, but it is with magic. Now, can we get a photo Say, with you? Say, you Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say, chocolate-covered puppies. Chocolate-covered chocolate -covered puppies. puppies. So where's the picture, magic man? Oh. I seem to have misplaced it. Hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. Can you just give us the ten word summary instead? We're on a pretty tight schedule. Ten words. Oh my. How about prismatology is the answer. Unicorns are pretty and rainbows too. That's ten. What's the story on this prismatology flap duo? Prismatology is only the greatest intellectual, emotional, and spiritual revolution ever to grace this fair planet. Thank goodness we have someone who can give an impartial assessment. Tell us more. Join Prismatology today, and you too can experience the magic of true bliss. That goes against everything I've ever hoped for, and yet now I'm strangely attracted to the notion. Snap out of it, little buddy. We've got a case to solve. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> How about another picture, you bless? Oh. How about this? Instead of a new picture, we'll just recycle the old one. Save the Earth. Sure, whatever. Gather round. Okay, so I guess we can take pictures several times, but we can't take the camera. It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests! You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo! Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park. Ah, I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh. May we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Your eyes look a little spirally. Are you feeling all right? Of course I am, sweetheart. By the way, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? And you should really be flossing. You certainly sound like your normal self. But why are you keeping everybody in there? I'm just doing what I always do. Slave and toil to put on the best show possible. It's just, after opening presents from well-wishers, I felt so compelled to make this show extra special. So there was a present. Don't be alarmed, but I'm beginning to suspect that you might be hypnotized. Don't be silly. Hypnotism is just an excuse people use today to abdicate responsibility. I hate how this country's become a bushel of Bill and Betty brainwashies. Hypnotized or not, that sounds like Myra's patented blend of lovingly cutting criticism and charismatic know it all Hmm. 
can't... May we appear as guests on your show? I excel at talking about myself! Are you famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition or there ought to be a law kind of way. Not good enough. <laughs> I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. I want to see a copy of your recording contract for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording contract and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Recording contract, TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of course! What kind of show do you think this is? Are you sure you want us to answer that? Look, it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? Okay, so now we know. Um, so Sybil makes a tabloid, so my guess is um, we have to show up in that tabloid, and Sybil wants little green men with celebrities. So that's what the photo is for. Recording contract, I have no idea where we get those. And um, what was the last one? A hit TV show, I guess that's what we were in earlier. So I guess we'll just have to do that. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? <laughs> what face? Okay, let's get the... That's, this That's where I'd stand if I were the host, which I'm not. Okay. We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! Oh. From somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? With special guest host, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max. Listen, Sam, they love us. Welcome. You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire. Start loading the armored cars, Hugh, because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true. Okay, are you ready? Oh, the million is good for Bosco's... Oh, happy day. It's an easy one. If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? <laughs> no idea, no clue, no chance, no hope. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'll say false. That's not really a valid answer. You lose! This is an outrage. I demand a recount. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay. Find out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. His cards. Can we maybe? Apparently, WARP can't afford armed guards for their game show questions. That's cheating, Sam. Good thinking. Don't get <laughs> your pretty long ears in a twist, little buddy. The answers aren't on here. In life, there are no answers, only questions. Another prismatology credo? No, I read that in a cereal box. I'm seriously deficient in riboflavin, by the way. You're seriously deficient, all right. Alright, what are these cards? Um. Hmm. I don't know, I guess.
guess we can do something with these someday. Director. Sam, I've just deduced a vital piece of information in the case. That is where the director sits. People say you've been mailing it in. cards with something. I guess let's go back to the sitcom as I originally intended, because I didn't expect the game show to immediately start. But I guess we can probably take place in that game show several times. Hello? This could use some sprucing up. Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Say no more. Cooking show tour. We missed that the first time around. Cooking without looking. Lard. That's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis. Or start a circus of grease squirrels. I rue the day you lost your NEA funding, Max. Uh, little green man. Yeah, that was what I was thinking about. Um, that, uh, um, yeah, that, uh, that we might get the photo on the tabloid because she wants a little green man and we made him be green. Um, you think that was the complaint about Oprah? The winners had to pay taxes or something? Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. So was the question easy for this you? This bridge isn't even a bridge. It's a fake. Hey Sam, can I? No. Dangerous implements. It's like a scene from Heidi. How does that bird manage to stay still for so long? <laughs> That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. This is quite realistic. Like that animatronic kid on the Cosby Show. Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just go with it. Oh, I'm... Hello, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh, greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. <laughs> We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? Today, we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. Oh, now we can squid tentacles, wombat secretions, buffalo chips, sulfuric peric acid, herjil, uranium pellets, tweed mink, pink mink oil, roofing tile shards, MSG, probably the only healthy ingredient in here. Dried dinko kidneys, kidneys, asbestos sprinkles, lard, monk paste, red dye number two. Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. You want to use the sulfuric acid sparingly. It can easily overwhelm the other ingredients. And your taste buds, and your esophagus. No more than a dash of uranium pellets. They also go great in Chex Mix. Uh, now we now do we it. broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And, through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous, delicious cake. Ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Okay, I guess we got a cake. This fridge isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. All right. Hey, 
great, Bossy. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. These are all thesauri. Who decorated this set? English majors working for peanuts, as usual. Embarrassing idle door, but we haven't been there either, I think. I just don't see how you can sing and be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam, do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <coughs> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Yay! Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Can I look at these? Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. Oh, we have cards. So I guess we can now trick you, Bliss. That's good. Game show, I think, was the one. Yes. Uh, the thick is plotting. Slot, not podium. Okay. Hey, a perfect fit. So let's try this again. We've got another contestant. Hit it. Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. Okay, are you ready? Hmm. The question is, am I blue? No. No, Hugh, you're not blue. Oh dear! Oh me, oh my! That's absolutely right! Yes, you won. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! We're rich! Filthy rich! We just went bankrupt, so we will not be back after these messages. This is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. One, two, three, 174, 175, 999,999. 999. 
and a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. All right. So let's buy something from Bosco and see if we can do anything with that. Let's go. Okay. Wait, was that wasn't that the entrance we used? did have the exit next to it. I guess they redressed the set while we were outside or what? It's got a fallen star on it. Not How that chair. The door. Yes, okay. Huh, that's weird. Secret Cup Scout Arsenal uncovered. Hello. No, here. Hello, sir. What ho, old bees? We want to buy something. Mm, yes, mm, uh, quite so, quite so. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps! I suppose I must accept them. Both the Danish government conspiracy. It's hogwash! Complete codswallop! Here then is your chemical-based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works! Trust me, trust me! Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped-up 78-speed turntable. It works! Thanks, Bosco! I have a suspicion what this is for. Alright. So let's go to Sybil. And see if she wants our photo. for well I did pay one million dollars even if it was food stamps <coughs> was that tiger like sound hey guys so you're looking for a cover photo of little green men canoodling right yeah though I'm kind of desperate at this point basically I can use anything as long as there are three beings in the shot and at least one of them's an alien it is the alien love triangle times, after all. Got it. Okay. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. I guess this should work. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial related photographic evidence. Sybil, that photo is a hoax. Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Sam at Max Shocker. Available disturbing. at newsstands now. Police caught on. What was it? Okay, I guess we're in the tabloids now. Should get us closer to Myra's show. Taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Nice touch that they she gave the fox little feelers. Hello? 
please get into the car? Where are we going, Sam? I guess back to the TV studio. The TV studio. Goody! Is we need a competitor for uh, what is it? Wizard peepers? Oh, that's the last Hi. one. Hi. You got this stage set up awfully fast. You must have an army of minions to do your bidding. <sighs> no, it's pretty much just me. I used to have a stagehand, but she went to watch the Myra show. All the more impressive then. Sawing the hole in the floor was the hard part. <laughs> What's it like working with the soda poppers? Oh, the usual. They prance around and make unreasonable demands, but they knuckle under because they're desperate to be working at all. Same as the rest of us, really. Your bleak outlook is oddly refreshing. What can you tell me about the show you're shooting here? Embarrassing idol, standard drill, amateur singers with delusions of ability perform in front of a camera. Judges heckle them, and the public gets sick pleasure out of watching the carnage. Can you give me some kind of insight into the arcane workings of the judging? It's pretty simple. All the judges have to agree on a winner. That's all there is to it. What kind of arbitrary criteria do they use to make their decisions? That's up to the individual judges. I channel the spirit of Hammurabi, the ancient Babylonian ruler. Then I pick you, Sam. Thanks, little buddy. What allegedly valuable prize is bestowed on the lucky winner? The winner gets a standard exploitation recording contract with a major label. If you're going to be exploited, be exploited by the best. Okay, that's the other thing we need to get in. That's good. So I guess we'll Can sing. I be a contestant? I often sing in the shower, and hardly anyone complains. Sure, we're pretty desperate for contestants at the moment. We had more, but they went in to watch the Myra show, and we never saw them again. Highly suspicious. Can I take another stab at singing? I'm not sure my finer qualities shown through on that one. Sure, why not? It's not like there are other contestants lined up and slobbering. Okay. That seems clear. Thank goodness. Well, I'm sure you're very busy. You got that right. I guess we click at the microphone or something. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call. There's some nice selections. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. Bottleneck on the Freeway of Doom. Love has a thorny backside. Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. <coughs> Howling at that drippy old honk of blues. She's at brunch today with some baboons. Road to someday, bits of me are strewed. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. Your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit a high note. Peeper's is still getting my vote. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peepers is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Oh. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. And we're cut. It's okay to sing again if you want to, by the way. Could improve your chances. 
Okay, so can we use the oops the voice changer? Testing one, two, three. There's an acid pit under them. That's not good. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Love Has a Thorny Backside. <coughs> Shiny like a new Mylar balloon. She's the headline, page one, the Tribune. All the girlies hear me and they salute. And let's hear from our judges. I admire your courage even more than your singing. You've still got my vote. Thanks, little buddy. You really nailed that high note. Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! I really think you could do this professionally. Thanks. But Peepers is my brother. There's no way I'm voting for anyone else. Okay, I can see that. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. So, how do we convince that last guy there? Do we have to prove that the other guy is not his brother? Give a paternity test or something. Maybe we can talk to you. Last time we saw you, you and your diminutive former child star brothers were in the thrall of a megalomaniac hypnotist with bad hair. What have you been up to since then? Well, after you hit us over the head, repeatedly, our careers have taken an upswing. Clearly. Hey, being a judge on Embarrassing Idol is a tremendous opportunity. I'm feeling the magic already. Tell me, old judge, what gruesome qualities do you look for in a singing performance? Fraternity! I'm voting for Peepers no matter what! He's my brother! The one who didn't forget my birthday today, I might add! I said I was sorry! Happy birthday! Thanks! I'm glad somebody remembered! I said I was sorry! What more do you want? A treat would be nice! Isn't this also St. Boniface Day? Patron saint of carnivorous plants and spiky things? I think that's next week. What kind of perks go with this gig? Do you get fancy dressing rooms and candy sorted by color? Ooh, craft services food! Have them bring me a roasted Canada goose stuffed with lightly bruised olives, please. Not likely. I ordered a cake for my birthday, but they never brought it. I think the craft services crew all went in to watch the Myra show, like everybody else. All we got was a basket of tomatoes! What funny. kind of preposterously un-American weasel are you that you don't like tomatoes? I like them just fine, but they don't like me. What do you mean? I once spent 12 hours in the bathroom after mistakenly eating a cucumber that was sitting next to a tomato on the plate. Say no more. Can you eat those little cherry tomatoes? They're small. No! No tomatoes, tomato juice, tomato paste, nothing! Or I'll be out of commission for hours! Oh, that looks promising. Enjoy I guess we judging. sabotage Catch him. you later. Uh-huh. Maybe we can give him the cake? How about some cake? Cake? Oh boy! Perfect for my birthday! There's no tomatoes in it, right? Nope. Uh, that was delicious. And a little bit scary. You eat like Max. Does that did that convince him to vote for us, maybe? Or do we have to Ah, okay, we do it automatically. Testing. Thanks. One, two, three. <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. I like little touches like that that they Hello. remember to redo I'd something. I'd like to do a little song I call. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. <coughs> May the starfish justice not impugn. Thinking about the rings on the great raccoon. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. And let's hear from our judges. Your moribund crooning is far less offensive than Peeper's excruciating slaughterhouse squalor. Um, thanks. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You got my vote. Hey! That was amazing. But as long as I'm a judge, Peeper's is getting my vote. Nuts. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. I guess we tried to be nice. Okay, so now we have to find a way. Let's see if there's anything with tomatoes among the ingredients. Game show door? No. Cooking show door. Cooking without looking. I hope we don't have to find a tomato somewhere. Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poisoned Chuck Flagon, these guys. Thank you, and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? I, I don't well, see any tomatoes in the ingredients. Goodbye, adoring public. Soon I will demand tribute. That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. Find a tomato first, I guess. Hmm. I mean, the only thing I can think of right now is that Bosco has condiments. It's got a falling star on yes, it. Yes, yes. How appropriate. I want to click on the door, not the chair. So, we shall see. Police caught on camera. Okay. Hello. Let's see. Can we get any ketchup? Ketchup. <laughs> As Vince referred to on TV. Maybe we need to make the cake and then put ketchup on it. Let's see if that works. There's a lot of walking involved here. Would be kind of nice if we had the um, ability to you know, like fast travel somehow or at least, you know, say like, you know, go to the end of the street or something or to the next building. 
because like since the camera pans where are we going Sam and clicking is a bit awkward the TV studio goody Don't you ever watch the show? Hmm. What are they doing with that acid? Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we use absolutely no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poison Chuck Flagon, these guys. Thank you and welcome to the show. What are we making this time, Sam? Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. All right. Asbestos, lard, monk paste, red dye number two, MSG, roofing shards, pink mink oil, tweed, uranium, squid tentacles. A fistful of squid tentacles. Ooh, that's my favorite western. <laughs> You'll want to crush up some dried dingo kidney. Come on, bachelors. You know you have them. Look under the sofa cushions. Can we say enough about roofing tile shards? Obviously, we can. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous, delicious cake, ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us! Alright, let's go back out. Let's save ourselves. Get ourselves some ketchup. That's the that whole thing about um, making a hole in the floor. I doubt that a real TV show would do that. Usually, you know, they just raise the floor. Raise the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. I have to remember to read that newspaper. Hello! Yes, 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 Bosco. Telly ho, pip pip, all that. Let's put some condiments on the cake. A little ketchup is always good on a cake. Ugh. I'm not sure. You know, like, my, my general philosophy is, you know, like, if there's some some weird-sounding food, you know, it's worth trying at least once. Maybe it's fun. Um, so I would probably try a cake that has ketchup with it, but uh, not doesn't really sound like a good idea, you know, because ketchup is more, you know, like vinegar sugar tastes a bit salty where are we going from sam the tomatoes the tv studio so goody 
not sure that would agree with a cake. I wonder if that works. Happy birthday! Oh boy! Birthday cake! That red frosty looks tasty! Excuse me. Oh, that was really. Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh, uh, uh. Time out for number two! What? What the? Darn it! He'd better not be going to see Myra. Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Vote for me! Alright, so I guess that's it. Testing. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Craving for undeserved fame and fortune. <clears throat> Chomping on a crunchy silver spoon. Playing cocktail angst on my pursuit. Blowing like a zephyr on a deal. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. You really nailed that high note. Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner. Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Ben Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. Woo! Okay, so we've got a recording contract. And we've got a scandal. And we've got a stuck mouse that I can't see. It was just a dust moat. Dust might? No, that's something else. Alright, so I guess we do this one now. To hopefully become famous. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They probably had it a cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Let there be light. Hey! Oh. Okay, Open up. let's... Put a hat on the cow, right? That Open that hides it. I know you're there we go. Life of the party. Aha! I know you got a. Well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Our this chef. is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la <laughs> 
and frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know? It was back in my army day. Goodness, who left this lying here? Ah, nature. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Oh, but we have a plate. Say, what's this? <laughs> I I'm sorry, what was that you said? <laughs> Mugu Gaipan. He said Mugu Gaipan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. <laughs> Super! I'll try some of that! Where's the plate? Oh. I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Aha! Hmm, interesting! That's one word for it. Hmm, there's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. <laughs> This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Chow pie. <laughs> really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. Now? Now. <coughs> Better get the serious toothpaste. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it works. Comical. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. All right, so how do we get back to game show door? I think that was that one that led to Myra's place. Aww. That's where they keep the question cards. Can't steal them again. Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourselves. Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your show? Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a juicy scandal. What if we have our own video game? Video game? Ugh, those things will ruin your eyes. They're awful. <laughs> we have a recording we contract. do have a recording contract. In Bottom Records. Take a look. Now how about having us appear on your show? Not so fast. To get on my stage, you'll also need a clip from your own TV show as well as evidence of a good scandal. Fame is a distressingly exact mistress. There you go, dear. Although I strongly disapprove. Having a mistress is an excellent start to a scandal. The public enjoys a good love triangle. As it happens, we brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Hmm. Your celebrity is becoming less and less marginal all the time. Don't worry, Myra. We're still marginal at heart. Yes, I suspected as much. But get yourselves involved in a newsworthy scandal, and you can be guests. Okay, we'll I be guess right we have Take to get time. the newspaper, and we forgot that. So 
So let's see if we can just get it out of the box at Bosco's. It's nice the the little uh, reminder they put in there, uh, you know, where it says like, oh, it's a fickle mistress, and then, uh, yeah, I don't r uh, recommend it, but getting a mistress is a good start to a scandal, a good love triangle, and of course, Sybil's paper is called Love Triangle News, so that's a bit of a veiled hint at what you're supposed to do if you haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> Sam is so fascinated with his uh, job as a judge that he still jumps in there. I wonder if that's like, you know, if if they wrote that code that made Sam walk in there and sit in his box and then just went like, why bother writing code to take him out? It would be much funnier. Ah, uh, yes, We're okay. Famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Begin? <laughs> begin? <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? To the TV studio. The TV to the studio. Batmobile. Goody! really nice that he's just sitting there the lone judge left are we still taping <laughs> did, did you see that kind of like you, you could see like they only have that one set and this room wasn't loaded next to it because when you like look through the the set that you saw through here was just like a one wall painted, you know, like the the window in the cooking show, you know, with the. So I kind of like that. That. Uh, that you can kind of. Well, it's you know, like of course it would be better if it wasn't visible what tricks they do here, and I guess it wasn't on the original systems it was made for. But uh, here, with the higher resolution, it's kind of um, it's kind of obvious. Hi, Lucius. How's it going? Oh, you didn't notice. Well, maybe we can see it again when Myra comes out. It's kind of nice to like like realize what techniques they use because, of course, those are polygons rendered by the graphics card, so they're always full resolution but the textures on them of course are pixelated pictures um, so they only get smoothed out a little by being distorted yes now here you oh, can see it again behind again. you well what is it it's it's you know it's just a wall with a fuzzy texture behind her whereas she has much more pixels than that Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your show? Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a juicy scandal. What if we have our own video game? Video games? Ugh, those things will stunt your growth. They're terrible. Oh, and uh, hi, hi, Lucius. I don't know if I actually properly said hi, but uh, nice to see you again. Hope you had a good week so far. Um, I saw you in some other streams. That was fun. Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? You'll have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only so I can talk about America's lamentably endless fascination with depravity. Yay! Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about... While you're on my show, you stay in your seats at all times. You do not interrupt me when I'm talking, and you treat the audience with the utmost respect, even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Gosh, Max, 
Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. <laughs> Find a position of the rendered seat. Yeah, I guess that was Give kind of a Give her a hand, show. everyone. Bessie Bovine reading from her new book, The Heart Has Four Stomachs, Ruminations on a Life in Hollywood. Out now in all major bookstores. This microphone is starting to spark from overuse. But that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's Embarrassing Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. Hold the hayride, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinky, in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down like ducks in a gutter. Hold it! My guests sit at that end. But that bear has got you. Sit! We'll just sit where you want us to, ma'am. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. You're gonna have to play along. Sam and Max, you talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. Um, you thought the microphone was spitting water. <laughs> so much dialogue. Yes. It's a nice thing about adventure games. They have dialogue and lots of it. And you get to pick what you want to say. Usually you kind of like just go through on the list, but uh, yeah. Not that picture in the times. I'd rather let's talk about. Nah, let's let's go for the picture first. There's something you should know about that picture in the times. I'm not sure. I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. But the photo is not quite what it seems. How so? That's not us. There was someone else involved. There was someone else involved? Let's try... Well, let, let's try honesty, I guess. It's not a picture of an alien at all. That's Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss? The highly respected founder of prismatology? Don't be ridiculous. Why, I've had him on my show before, and he certainly isn't green. What are you really hiding? How much I'm scared of being buffeted by another gust of Hurricane Myra? Flattery will get you nowhere, mister. I don't know about you, audience, but as a girl, I was taught that flattery was the worst possible way to blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Blah, 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 yak, 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 blah, 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 yakity, 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 yak, blah, blah, blah. Blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Yak yak yak. I'm wise in front of a live studio audience. Yak 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 yak. Blah blah blah. I'm not touching that thing. I'd probably get shot. Blah blah. Yak 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 yak. Blah 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 blah. Humanity's not safe while that mysterious little hypno bear is on the loose. Are we part of humanity, Sam? Not technically, but we're in danger too. Yak yak yak. Blah 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 blah. Yak 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 Blah blah blah. Blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Yak 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 yak. Blah dee blah dee blah dee. Yak 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 Blah blah blah. Blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Yak yak yak. May I have a drink of water? Are you the host of this talk show? No. Then no. Blah 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 blah. Yak 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 yak. Blah dee blah dee blah dee blah. Yak yak yak. Can't we sit over there? You'll sit where you are and like it, Mister. Yes, ma'am. Blah, 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 yak. Mm. <coughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. There's more you should know about that picture in the times. What's that? Okay, that didn't work. That's not us. There was somebody else involved. Let's try that. It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. How shocking! 
Who? One of the soda poppers, Bessie the cow, Philo Pennyworth. Let's try him. Philo Pennyworth. As I'm sure most of you know, Philo Pennyworth is the actor who plays Mr. Featherly on Midtown Cowboys. And we happen to have him backstage. Let's bring him out. Philo, give us your side. Is it true? Myra, please, of course not. I'm a veteran of the British stage. I'd never be caught cavorting with a dog, a rabbit, and an alien. It's so 1997. <laughs> Yikes. I doubt we'll hear a more terrifying denial. This year, anyone who is anyone is all about birds of prey, ring-tailed lemurs, and Bigfoot. No one will ever take you seriously at the Globe Theatre otherwise. And there you have it. I'm so shocked, I'm going to talk for at least the next five minutes about blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Okay, blah, so blah, she blah, moves blah, the yak, microphone yak, yak, over yak, to blah, whoever blah, we blah, get blah, invited blah, there. Blah, 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 Ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. There's more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? Let's there are still others else. involved. We wouldn't be able Incredible. to think if someone Ooh. is talking. Lol, she talks the entire time. Yes. It's a love rectangle. <laughs> yeah. Philo Pennyworth, one of the soda poppers. Let's try one a soda, of the soda popper. poppers. Oh my! Which one? Mm, let's try Wizard, I think. Wizard! Well, that's certainly an interesting accusation. We happen to have Wizard waiting backstage! Let's bring him out! I have no what they b all that happened was they gave me a ketchup cake oh my b i have no idea what that even means and it may be the single filthiest thing anyone said in my presence i might be able to top it if you give me a chance I <laughs> in fact our country's shocking fascination with the double entendre is wrecking blah 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 yak 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 Blah 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 yak yak okay, yak so yak that bloody, 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 really bloody yakety 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 I thought he'd maybe go for the water glass. Are you the host of this talk show? No. Then no. Blah 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 yak. Mm. <laughs> ah yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. I was kind of thinking that. There's uh, more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. You're joking. Who? Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. Oh my. Audience, shall we bring her back out again? Well, Bessie, what do you say to these allegations? <laughs> Bessie, shockingly, you're the only voice of common sense in Hollywood. You are to be commended. Why don't you relax with some sweet grass backstage while I browbeat my audience into blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Hmm. Blah, 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 yak. <coughs> Can we do ah, anything yes. with Max, Where were we? maybe? Or do I we think get we were one discussing the, the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Let's talk about you, Myra. Me? What could anyone want to know about me? Maybe they'd like to know how honored you are to have me, Max, brilliant actor and acerbic wit, on your show. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? 
I'd like to mention my pal Sam and something that happened the other day. Anecdotes about other celebrities, even ones as dubious as you two, are always welcome. Well, I was battering this purse snatcher with a broken parking meter and screaming, Die! Why won't you die? And Sam said, You crack me up, little buddy. The point being? I crack Sam up. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? Hmm. I'd like to talk about me. I prefer my guests' naked egos to be just a little less naked, dear. Oh, absolutely, Myra. That's exactly what Reese Butterfingers told me when sniping river rats at Cannes. She thought I had the cool-eyed aim of a professional. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? Hmm. I'd like to talk about myself. And a project you're working on, perhaps? You said it, Myra. I am an ongoing project, like a golden calf or a graven image. I'll only rest once people are sacrificing their firstborn unto me. Also, I'd like to direct. Fame went to your head quickly, dear. It's a short trip. Are you sure you <laughs> wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? Okay, so I guess we can't really get Sam to say much. I'd rather talk about our smash hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. Okay, let's talk. You two have become the new breakout stars of a flaccid, dissolute sitcom in its final days. How wonderful for you. Thanks. We brought a clip. You certainly did. I had a chance to watch it, and I refused to show it to my audience. It has a shocking joke involving a cow pie. It's a sad commentary on today's culture when the cow pie, once a staple of the American diet, blah, 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 <laughs> yak, 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 yak. <laughs> I see why Myra only lets big stars on her show. They're easier targets? If you're big enough, there still might be something left when she's finished. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakity, 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 yak, blah, 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 yak, yak. Would you like some whipped cream for whatever it is you have in that glass? It's water, so no. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakity, 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 Right, so I'd like to sing a song from my upcoming album, Feathers and Furious Scribbling. I'm almost certain the audience might probably enjoy that. Howling at that drippy old hunk of moon. She's at brunch today with some baboon. I think you picked the last and song so I sang. I wrote this extremely catchy tune. Thank you, Sam, for putting the numb back in musical number. What a wonderful way to remind our audience that you don't have to be talented to be famous. And oh. a perfect segue into my latest tirade about the lamentable state of modern popular music. I mean, blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, yak, yak, yak. Blah, 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 yak, yak. <coughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times in that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Maybe we need a different soda popper. I'd like to talk about that charming yet mildly insidious looking bear on your desk. Can I see it? I don't know, Sam. Can you? <laughs> may I see it, please? No, you may not. And if I may say so, if there's one thing that grills my chicken, it's how our culture is in a state of modal decay. Can is not the same as may. Should is not the same as blah, blah, blah. Yak, blah, 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 blue, blue, blue. Hopefully she'll be off on her tri-state nagging spree for a while. Blah, 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 blah. Yak, 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 I'm not yak, touching that thing. Blah, 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 I'd blah, probably yakety, get shot. Yakety, 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 yak. I'd like to sing my song again. Oh. Normally, I'd protest. But after three and a half days on the air, I'm a little starved for content. Howling at that drippy old hunk of Okay, I hoped I could pick that up. She's at brunch today with some baboon. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. 
lovely, mainly because it allows me once again to rail against popular music. Kids today, blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak. <coughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Okay, There's let's more try you should some... know about that picture in the Times. What's that? That's not us. Let's try that. It's not it's us. Not us. It's uh, our evil twins, Saul and Mark. I thought I was the evil twin. Sam, I refuse to let my low opinion of you curtail my disappointment. Did you really think anyone would buy such an unbelievable story? Is there a way to answer that without being lectured? No, there isn't. You know, millions of Americans suffer from malevolent multiple birth sibling syndrome. It's no laughing matter. And for you to blah, 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 yak, yak, <laughs> yak. Blah, 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 yak. <coughs> Ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Okay, There's let's more try you the should last know about that picture in the Times. Two soda poppers. What's that? There was there someone are else still involved. others involved. How shocking. Who? One of the soda poppers. Oh my! Which one? Let's see. Peepers or specs? Let's try peepers. Peepers. Really? Well, by amazing coincidence, we happen to have peepers backstage right now! Let's bring them out! happened was I snatched my lyrics. I can't even imagine what horrifying act that's slang for. How are any of us supposed to listen to Burt Backrack being interviewed without blah blah blah, yak yak yak. Blah 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 blah, yak mm, yak yak yak. That wasn't it. <laughs> ah yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. There's more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. Incredible. Who? One of the soda poppers. The last choice. Oh, I think then we've done all Which of them. One? Specs. Oh my goodness. Well, audience, we just happen to have him backstage. Specs, come on out here. What are they f***ing about? The thing and I f***ed up instead of my brother. And to be honest, I regret it. You mean you wish you'd f*** your own brother? Yes, I do. <laughs> At least he doesn't... I am appalled. What kind of... Why, I... In all my years, I never... Blah, blah, blah. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yuck, 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 yuck. Blah, 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 blah. 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 Yuck, 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 yuck. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Humanity's not safe while that mysterious little hypno bear is on the loose. Blah, blah, blah. Are we part of humanity, Sam? Not technically, blah, blah, but we're in danger too. I'm not touching that thing. Ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. So what can we do now? The picture, I think we've done all, and I think the others were just one-shots, right? Where did you get that bear, Myla? It's funny you should ask, Sam. Funny in the way all inappropriate questions are funny. A relentlessly inquisitive culture created a blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. That woman cannot get off her high horse about anything. 
She'd need a parachute. Blah, 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 yak, yak. May I have a drink of water? Are you the host of this talk show? No. Then, no. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak, blah, blah, blah. Blah blah. Game show. Blah 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 blah. Yak 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 yak. Bloody 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 bloody. Yakety 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 yak. Blah blah blah. Testing. One two three. Blah 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 blah. Yak yak yak. Ah yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. There's more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? I've changed my mind. I can't bring myself to talk about it. All right. You can tell us something else about your scandalous affair. The fair's evil, Myra. Destroy it now! Mind your manners with my guests, young man. Kids today. Blah, blah, blah. Yak, yak, yak. Blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Mm. <laughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Let's talk about you, Myra. Me? What could anyone want to know about me? Maybe they'd like to know how honored you are to have me, Max, brilliant actor and acerbic wit, on your show. Are you sure you wouldn't rather talk about your alien love triangle shenanigans? So the the goal, what's the goal? Yeah, that's the question. So um, I guess we need to kind of get her out of the hypnosis and get that bear destroyed somehow. And since there are not many interactable items here, I think that microphone is involved, and since it's sparking and she has a glass of water, I think we need to electrocute either the bear or here, her. Um, the question is I haven't figured out yet how to do that. And we can't use the gun and we can't use the uh, tear gas dispenser. They will immediately say, hey, not on public TV. So we're limited in what items we can actually use. I'd like to say some more about our show, Midtown Cowboys. I would, too. It's disgusting how you openly mock the plight of gallus American landlords. After all, wasn't it a chicken who fought at the battle of blah, 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 yak, 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 yak? Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, 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 yak, blah, blah, Humanity's not safe while that mysterious little hypno bear is on the loose. Are we part of humanity, Sam? Not technically, but we're in danger, too. Yakety, 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 yak, blah, 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 blah. Can play blah, some blah, more blah, music. Blah, yak, 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 bloody, bloody, Got a second, little buddy. Yakety, 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 now that we're big yakety, stars, yakety, 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 I'd normally blah, blah, ask blah, that your blah, people call blah, my blah, people blah. to set up a meeting. Blah, blah, but blah, since blah, we're blah, old yak, friends, we've got to stop this TV blah, program. Blah, blah. Stop blah, it! Blah, blah, it's the greatest blah, blah, moment yak, of my yak, deeply yak, superficial yak, life! Blah, 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 Nonetheless, yakety, we'll be yakety, trapped yakety, here forever yakety, if we yakety, don't do yakety, something. Yakety, yakety, yak, blah, Look, blah, unless you take out blah, Myra, blah, or that bear, or blah, both, blah, blah, you'll never yak, stop it. Yak, yak, I say, yak, blah, relax blah, and enjoy blah, the yakety, unreal, soul-hollowing ride. The real threat here isn't Myra at all. It's that bear. I know. Nothing that cute should be allowed to exist. It has Myra in some sort of hypnotic thrall. You made that word up. Possibly, but that doesn't make it less true. <laughs> According to the ultra-strict rules of talk show reality, we're stuck sitting over here. 
possibly permanently. At least it's comfortable. True, but we can't do much from here. Celebrities don't always have to do things for themselves. They perform and have people do everything else for them. Never mind. Then I shall return to the warm womb of manufactured celebrity. Ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Hmm. There's more you should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? There are still others involved. You're joking. Who? Go back to Despite Philo his and earlier see if denial, can do anything while Philo he's here. Pennyworth. The only reason I'm participating in this farce is because it's great for ratings. Philo, come on back out here. Myra, I swear to you, I would never participate in anything so mundane and passe. It would ruin my reputation as a serious British actor. What can I say but blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Bloody, 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 blah. Yakity, 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 yak. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Can't we sit over there? You'll sit where you are and like it, mister. Yes, ma'am. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, yak, yak, yak. Makes it impossible for you to think. I'm sorry. Ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love bit. triangle times and that nasty scandalous affair of yours. Well, it's you can, you know, you can just start talking to her and she'll stop, but uh Yeah. So what can we there is nothing here. Hmm. I'd like to sing a song from my upcoming album, Feathers and Furious Scribbling. I'm almost certain the audience might probably enjoy that. Howling at that drippy old Ah, I got it now. She's at brunch today with some baboon. Remember what happened when we... When we and sang so I wrote this extremely with peepers. Thank you, Sam, for putting the numb back in musical number. What a wonderful way to remind our audience that you don't have to be talented to be famous. And Just a such an optimistic way of saying that. About the lamentable <laughs> state of modern popular music. I mean, blah, 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 yak, 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 yak bloody, 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 yakety, yak, yak, yak. All right, so get the voice modulator to get our voice high. Testing, one, two, three. Now use the banjo. Is that wise? Yes. Whoa, careful there, Tiger. That was wonderful. I'm so moved, I almost don't have a long hectoring screed in me. Oh no, wait, there it is. Thank goodness. Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah, 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 Okay, blah, and blah, now yeah, we yeah, call yeah, someone, yeah. so she moves the microphone blah, into blah, the water. Blah, blah. <coughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing <sighs> the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. Okay, There's about more that you picture. should know about that picture in the Times. What's that? And it's kind of clever of them to give you so many things you can do um, that you're a bit distracted, even though you know you're in this limited scene. But they've still distracted you and kind of trapped you, um, uh, you know, like in here. But it's not as if you don't have enough to do, and it was just. You know, like obvious that if you do all these three clicks, then you're doing it. They give you a whole dialogue, and basically that's just, you know, window dressing, and then the actual, um, 
the the actual thing that you do that you have to do is actually outside of it all okay so it let's call someone the else story. there's someone else involved someone the picture doesn't show how shocking who Let's see. Let's call Bessie. Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. Oh my! Audience, shall we bring her back out again? <laughs> At the risk of making the obvious comment, that was shocking. <laughs> is she bleeding? <laughs> A little. But the creepy teddy bear is toast. Nuts! I wanted to ask it a few questions, and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another glorious dream bangs its chin on the dirty pavement. On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. Oh, I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, speaking of unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete coincidence? Yes, I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. Empty popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Bread logs make me loki. Let's head back to the cooking show set and see if we can figure out how to make fried pork rinds. Okay, but I get the feet. To Myra, love the toy mafia. Woo! So that was this episode. Dorothy Gallagher was Myra. Alright, and I guess that was it for this Sunday. 